Hi and welcome to the Creative Treehouse. My name is Robin Broom and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Thanks so much for joining me in the Treehouse today. Today's project is a sympathy card. I have a dear friend who just lost her mother and so I created this one for her and I think I'm going to make some extras just to have in my stash and um, I, because it's a what well, it's to a female for a female I decided that flowers were in order and I also really liked just the light uh, soft part of the blushing bride just kind of accent it and so I used the prize peony stamp set and I used several of the stamps from this one and I used just one piece one of the dies from the peony dies and let me show you I also use those little elements the matte elements and here's the inside of the card so I will tell you all the dimensions so that we can put this one together um, and the first thing you need is the smoky slate as your base and that is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter okay and then other pieces that you need for the outside will be you need a, a blushing bride piece that's cut at five and a half by two and five eighths and then you need another one that's cut at three and three eighths by two and five eighths and I'll put all these measurements on my blog and the other pieces for the outside you'll need two pieces of basic white this one is cut at five and a half by two and a half and then one that's cut at three and one quarter by two and a half all right and then on the inside you'll need two pieces one is the blushing bride piece that's a five and a half by three and a half and then a basic white that is five by three and three quarters so those are all the pieces that you need so let me slide some of these out of the way and we will get started stamping I'll need a because we're going to be stamping off I'm going to use a piece of scratch paper and I like to use these little newsprint ones that I think they work well and we will get this is the this is the strip I'm going to start with here of uh, the strip of white and I'm going to be using the um, smoky slate ink for this one and then I'm going to use the I believe this was the basic gray ink so we'll start with this one and this is the stamp that has the stem on it and believe it or not my ink is the old ink which is on at least for my smoky slate I used to just not I was not a big gray fan I like the warmer colors but in recent years I've used it more and more so I've got the re-inker for this but I do not have a, a new ink pad so I may need to put that on my next order all right so what I did was I just pretty much tried to focus on the big bloom and I try to just put the big bloom places and not really focus on the stem at all so it's not just a gorgeous stamp oh my goodness love it love the detail in it you can get a lot more details on the the rubber stamps than you can on the photopolymer I believe I could have that backwards <laughs> so all right let's see I think I'll turn it let me do one this way and a lot of that is going to be hidden behind but it's just let's see I'll do the center right there is going to be hidden so I'm not worried about that I think I'll put another just edge it with a little a couple of the leaves okay so there isn't that pretty it almost looks like it's um designer series paper all right and oop I think I'm going to do one more leaf or maybe the little blossom let's do the edge of the blossom right here perfect okay now I'll close up the old ink pad which are still good that's the I have to remember because they're they go different directions all right so I'm going to slide that out of the way and now we're going to use the 
uh, this particular stamp and we're going to change and we're going to use the, the basic gray ink and I need my my smaller of the white pieces there and we're going to do the flower and then I'm going to also do some masking so I'm going to put the flower oh, probably right about there and then I'll also go ahead and do the sentiment which is sorry for your loss and then I do want to do the leaves and there are two leaves and I'm going to use them both but this is where we're going to do the masking all right for the masking I used a it's one of those super sticky notes um, like post-it notes and it's so it's sticky all over and just makes it a lot easier to use uh, Stampin up now has some masking I'm not sure what they call masking paper or something and I, I have not put that on an order yet but I'm looking forward to that all right so we're gonna mask that that way I just stamped on the on the paper and then I just cut it out I didn't wasn't uh, worried about that particular area because that's not where the leaves are going to be and then I can just stamp and kind of just over the post-it note wherever I would like my leaves to be and then when you remove the post-it note from it the leaves are nicely tucked under the flower so that's just a helpful hint. Another helpful hint would be that when you do cut, you need to cut very, very close, actually like on the line. Otherwise, there will be a, a space. So when you're cutting um, a mask, that's a, a good rule of thumb for that. Okay, so there are those things. And that may be all the stamping that we need to do on the outside. Let's look on the inside. What I did was I took the, the piece of five by three and three quarter paper and I used the, the smallest of the little flowers and I went back and used the smoky slate because I wanted it to be a little bit softer and I just put one of those on the bottom left hand corner like that so because I always imagine that you're going to sign it right there so you need it to and you want it to be subtle as well but yet add um, a little bit of interest to it okay and then what I did was I took the that die that I mentioned and I just set it on the very edge of the paper when I say very edge I really mean very edge is how I did it so that is what's left from the cutting the die cutting so and I just used a piece of uh, washi tape and held it down and uh, tried to make it sort of centered there as well and so now we can start putting it together let me grab my bone folder and I'm going to put a nice crease on it this bone folder has seen better days <laughs> all right so there I feel like I didn't I didn't quite crease it enough let me try one more time this is a little bit of a squishy mat. It's easier to do it on a hard, flat surface. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is we're going to use our liquid glue and we're gonna start put our, putting our layers together. So, and when you are using liquid glue, it takes a little bit of getting used to. It tends to come out of the bottle fairly quickly and you just have to learn how to give just the right amount of pressure because it doesn't take a lot. It's a very strong, wonderful glue and but it also gives you time to wiggle it around a little bit so this is just going to be aha uh -huh, yep i cut it a slight bit let me see which one's correct yep a slight bit off on the on the white so but that is all right we can trim that no problem all right now we need the background for this the the layer so let's put our sentiment on here again with the liquid glue and we'll use some dimensionals in just a minute and so it just gives just that little it just that pink is just peeping out and 
I think. Is that all that we need for the... Yeah, believe it or not, I believe that's all we need. So we can go ahead and adhere this down with our liquid glue. So. And I'm going to go... I might be able to. Let me just take my snips and see if I can cut that little bit. It's like a sixteenth of an inch. And I can also, do, I could do it on my paper trimmer as well. Especially if I don't get it completely even with my snips, I could go back. All right, and I got that one little nutty. All right, okay, and now we're gonna adhere this down. Okay, and then what I did was I used the dimensionals for this one, and I used the regular size dimensionals. And we can put however many. I think I actually used some of the, yeah, and don't forget you can. You can use the, the edge pieces too. They work just as well. So let's see. Put, probably put some on the edges, and at least I'll put one here and one in the middle. Okay, pull all the backings off and we'll adhere that to the front and then I'll show you the, we'll adhere everything on the inside and our card will be done. It'll be, it's a relatively, a relatively speedy but I just I really love, love the way it turned out. All right, and you can put that wherever. You can put it actually centered. I think I like it mine slightly below center. Okay, so then you've got, you've got that, and on the inside, all, you've got those two pieces, the one that we just stamped, the white, and then you've got the pink. And what I do with the pink is because I'm going to butt it all the way up against the outside because that is where that pink is showing. All right, so that's where, where we will adhere the blushing bride. lined up well. Awesome. And then now we will slide that just a little bit. Okay. So what I like about the liquid glue is that you've got that wiggle room. And now we'll put our white piece that we had stamped our very little flower. And before I completely smash it down, I want to be sure that the white doesn't show. Yes, it does not. I think on this one I probably got closer to the edge on that than I did on my example. So yeah, there's a little bit more pink showing on the example. I think I like this one better. So that is it. That's all there is to it except for our embellishments. And let me grab those. And these, the ones that I used were the classic matte dots. And I used the little teeny tiny white ones. And I, let's see, I used three and I, oh, I just barely have enough to repeat that. And I put them on the gray and I made a line of three. So one there. And here. And one more. Let's see if I've got one more white. Ooh, yes, just one more. Come here, little white. <laughs> Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah, they've been, this is the multi-purpose tool has lots of really good pieces to it. And I could have gone and changed it out and used this one also. This end is great for picking up these little embellishments. All right. Now I believe that it's finished and looks just like the other one with the inside and everything. So elegant. It doesn't look like it took just a few minutes to put together. So I'm looking forward to being able to encourage my friend with one. So I hope you enjoyed this video, pretty short video, and I hope that you'll try something like this. If you don't have this stamp set, it recently retired. If you don't have it, there are lots of other ones, lots of floral designs that are similar and that would um, give you the same effect. So thanks again for joining me in the treehouse today. And if you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I will look forward to seeing you again in the treehouse probably in about a week maybe 
two weeks. It just depends on, on my schedule and how many items my little puppy eats between now and then. So I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.